R E S P E C T. Find out what it means to me. R E S P E C T. Take care, T C B. T C B for those who are unaware stands for taking care of business. And take care of business is exactly what you need to do if you want your landscape, your public space, to be respected. Because there are so many great places which have been designed for a positive purpose, but I've just simply trusted everyone to respect them. And remember, kids, you can't trust everyone. So, how can we create a respected landscape? Naturally, you can employ crime preventing measures, but that's only part of it. You need to try and make sure that from the very beginning, throughout the design, that your landscape aims to get respect. So last year I put together a little research paper asking how we can exactly go about doing this. It's set about determining what respect itself means, how it can apply to different landscapes, and what lies behind encouraging respect and preventing disrespect. It led me to find what I believe to be the five steps for creating a respected landscape. This is Kevin. Say hi Kevin. Kevin's here to help you remember the five step process for creating respect. K-E-V-I-N. Kevin. That stands for know, empathize, value, incentive and neutralize. Let's look at that in a bit more detail. Know the site and its users. Ask yourself four things. Where is the site? What's it like? Who's using it? How is it being used currently? Once you have that, you can move on. Empathize with all users. Get in their head. Get the site from their perspective. Understanding the intentions, motivations, appreciations of everyone is the core mindset to be in before moving forward. Why is the site being treated as it is currently? What will all the users think of my response to a problem? Values. Understand the user's values. Don't ignore the values of the users for just the higher purpose of the site. Be it artistic, environmental, economic. Weigh in both sets of values equally, and if they clash, be prepared to justify which is more important. For instance, what one man can see as a nice little pond for wildlife, another man might just see as a bin. Give incentive for respect. What's in it for them? Provide a good reason to act respectfully. Make it obvious for all users, kids, teenagers, adults, criminals, the intoxicated. You need to know what their values are in order to know their incentive. So make sure you get that last one down before moving on to this one. And neutralize the opportunities for disrespect. As the UK Design Council will tell you, the idea is to remove the opportunity and increase the risk of unwanted behavior. Again, see your ideas through the eyes of each potential user. If you put up a sign telling your user not to do something, what's to say they'll read it, let alone follow it? Don't just tell the user to not do something, convince them as to why they can't. Sounds pretty simple, right? Or is it? You see it was tested using a paid online survey released worldwide. Participants were presented with a disrespected site in Cheltenham. It was a hotspot for littering, vandalism, fly tipping, heavy drinking. The participants were then asked to carry out creative task one. This involved them coming up with as many ideas as they could to help the site become respected. Then they were presented with Kevin. They were then told to perform creative task 2, where they had to do the same thing as before, but this time with the help of Kevin. 63% of participants said they felt Kevin helped them complete creative task 2. That's the task which 60% of participants also said they felt performed better on. So there you have it. If you want your landscape to be respected, don't forget about Kevin. <laughs>